I'm Ellie Jeremiah and I want to introduce my new paper for the European Council on Foreign Relations that delves into Iran's domestic politics and how in the recent years of the US maximum pressure era, the balance of power Iran has really shifted. It intends to create some norms in the understanding that we have in the West about what's happening on the ground in Tehran and how different power players inside the country view the main remedies and solutions to the country's problems. We look at a couple of issues that will help Western policymakers understand better how to bring Iran into diplomatic negotiations. The first issue is how power operates in Iran and how decisions are made. And most importantly, we emphasize that Iran's leaders have shown an ability to be very pragmatic at times when it advances their own interests or extends the lifeline of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Secondly, we look at the main power blocks inside Iran that are influencing the decisions that are made by Iran's supreme leader. Here we look at three main categories. First, the modernizers who have been critical to the nuclear diplomacy of the recent years with the West. Secondly, the so-called principalists, which are their main political rivals to the modernizers, and they have much more conservative leanings when it comes to domestic and foreign policy. And finally, the securocrats that hope to expand the IRGC's control across the economic, security and political sphere in the country. We look at which one of these powers are on the rise and those that are on the fall and how they try and influence the supreme leader on several critical issues. The first one is how to fix the economy. Some of them want to do so by expanding relations with the West and lifting sanctions, while others want to espouse a so-called resilient economy, which is much more focused on self-sufficiency and making Iran immune to the US sanctions pressure of recent years. The second key question that Iran's leaders face is whether indeed diplomacy with the United States is a wise plan given the maximum pressure campaign they've had to endure and more recently the assassination of an Iranian state official, Qasem Soleimani. The third question facing the Iran's leaders is how to create security in a very turbulent Middle East region. They have both diplomatic tools and military tools at their disposal, and there's a discourse of how to best advance their own security in the current circumstances. The final section of the paper then looks at how Europe can apply all of this information to more effectively draw Iran's leaders into a negotiation path. Critically, we look at November as a real peg for Europe to help Washington and Tehran to reset their current policy towards one another through a concerted diplomatic effort. And most urgently, this diplomacy should address Iran's expanding nuclear program through an interim deal that we think can create a pragmatic and face-saving solution for both Tehran and Washington to engage on. So I hope you enjoy the paper and please provide feedback as always.